Good morning, folks. Today we're going over some big earthquakes, some electromagnetic pre-earthquake signals, solar forcing of extreme psychological outcomes, and of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Much quieter. After yesterday's X-class flare kicked off the morning, alert levels were raised, but nothing came of it. The CME from the X-flare was in fact aimed away from Earth and we don't have anything further in the way of eruptions. We have been expecting a faster solar wind stream due to the coronal hole and it arrived yesterday evening, but it was very mild, a weak stream. And while it did bring the KP index up slightly off the floor, it was not able to produce geomagnetic storm conditions. The watch moves forward with these central sunspots. They've had quite the run of development since becoming visible over near the limb. Back then, a leading southern group was bigger. As the caboose grew and the front umbral cores decayed, we watched for magnetic mixing, which appeared briefly and to a minor degree. By the time the active region was facing Earth yesterday morning, the leading spots were gone, leaving only these. And they appear to have slightly decayed here this morning. Flare risk is not gone from the group, but it is unlikely to produce any major eruptive events. Up next, we're at the earthquakes, and Alaska wears the crown for yesterday's activity with the top six quakes on the planet, all concentrated in that one area. Lots of activity. Let's just hope it's not a foreshock sequence ready to have a larger rupture soon. We're always watching that kind of seismicity, and speaking of which, good study here once again showing how atmospheric electricity and total electron content show anomalous behavior before large earthquakes. The larger the rumble, the more clear the preceding signal, and this team hopes to use live satellite data to monitor for them. Last but not least, a somber but important topic. We've seen it several times before, but it's been a few years since the last one. Among the many things investigated here relating to suicide, we've once again found that increases in solar activity, that's sunspots, solar flares, CMEs, and geomagnetic storms, causes an increase in suicide rates. It was first discovered in the 70s and has been confirmed yet again now. Folks, big event coming up on Saturday at Observer Ranch, our first special guest speaker. It would be a great weekend for you to come out and see us, and we'd love to see you. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.